Stanford University. My name's Tony Serrano. I work for ALBA. ALBA is a nonprofit, stands for Agriculture Land-Based Training Association. Our uh, web page is up top. Our uh, focus is um, training people how to farm organically and sustainably um, and help them uh, start their own businesses uh, farming and uh, make them economically viable. We are um, based in uh, Salinas, California. Uh, about an hour and change from here. We have two farms, uh, headquarters in Salinas, which is where our incubator is at, and then uh, another farm in Las Lomas, which is in Watsonville, which is more for our advanced growers. So our program goes like this. We uh, take uh, folks who want to, uh, are primarily in our area, Latino, Latinas, who are aspiring farmers. They. Uh, typically worked in the fields all their lives and uh, as harvesters, as irrigators, or anything but the whole business or business owners. They've always wanted to have and start their own business and have never really had access to, uh, to doing it. So we facilitate that through our program. It's a, as, uh, now a 10-month program, but it uh, used to be six months of uh, the ag course, the lecture. It uh, was six modules. Now we turn it into five, but it goes now six months of uh, the ag course. Then it goes another four months of apprenticeship where they actually uh, apply what they learned during the lecture period, and then from there they graduate into uh, the incubator. The incubator is five years, so collectively it's six years that they go through the program and end up um, exiting it. Uh, amid all that is Alba Organics, um, uh, which is what I manage. Alba Organics is the uh, uh, marketing uh, distribution arm of Alba. Our focus is to make sure that those um, students and graduates that go through our program have a place to go with their product after they, uh, they grow it. We used to uh, simply uh, train them, give them a list of uh, customers and send them all off onto the same customers and it was irritating for both the customers and our graduates because they weren't able to do business uh, viably and so the um, uh, the attrition rate was high and failure rate was high and we changed all that so out of necessity Alba Organics grew uh, and uh, was born and we started uh, doing the the uh, collective marketing I guess by definition now we're considered to be a food hub because we aggregate product, we uh, work with as many as uh, 100 small uh, farms. Uh, most of them are trainees, others who have just simply transitioned from conventional methods of farming to organics and uh, need uh, someone to help with their marketing. So going back to the ag course, the program is we start off with 35 students. We graduate about 25 of those, and of those there's only maybe 10, 12 uh, that actually um, stay on board uh, and start farming because we don't have room for any more on our farms. However, many of these that don't make it through our incubator end up uh, either moving up in position at their current jobs or uh, have land elsewhere or uh, are able to do something uh, positive with that training. Uh, bottom line is we're making, we're changing people's lives um, and that's a really cool thing. We're taking people who were working piece rate in the fields, uh, harvesting for someone else and actually at this point um, doing the same thing, only it's their own business. And I always use the uh, comparison that instead of uh, taking home $2 a box for uh, each box that they picked of strawberries or anything, now they're taking 10 to 12 on the low end uh, for each box that they're picking. Some of these are, uh, folks are very skilled at doing this, especially in the strawberry um, area. They uh, can harvest up to 150 boxes a day in, in the peak season, so you can do the math what you know, 10, 12 dollars will do as opposed to two dollars uh, a box back home. So it really um, encourages them to continue forward while they're doing this all sustainably through uh, crop uh, rotations uh, where uh, some of you folks have had the um, opportunity to visit our farm and see how we do the, these rotations and how we're building up the soil. It takes about, according to me, about seven years to build up our soils to their optimum to where you're increasing your yields um, and your production costs are down and it makes 
organic food more accessible. So um, where we stand, it's a win-win for everybody. And, uh, and we are making, uh, taking folks who are working in the fields making ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a year, uh, going up to you know, six digits um, in gross revenue, keeping maybe 50% of that uh, to take home. So it, it, the disparity is huge, and it's very um, enticing. How I ended up in this business, um, you know, or at least at Alba, is I grew up on a farm and I was actually farming. We were farming conventionally. And I, um, I have some pretty bad stories about when we were doing that, like getting poisoned and you know, poisoning the food and all that good stuff, which I now realize. But uh, I um, went from farming to help a, a friend uh, manage her ranch because her husband passed away. And then I um, stayed there. And then it, it, it got ugly with a litigation, and then she lost, and I ended up in uh, northwest Marin County, actually near Marin, uh, Valley Ford, <laughs> working on a cattle ranch, natural grass fed, um, and then we certified it organic, and uh, so I really loved that part. Went to school, came back down, and then started working, uh, worked at Alba Organics uh, for the second time. So amid that, I had already worked there, and um, it just really caught on to it. My uh, brother and I started farming organically about 20 years ago, and we failed at it because we didn't have the proper tools, the preparation to do it. Um, I wish I would have known Alba back then because I would have been able to go through the course and been successful, and it would have been a whole different story now. now and, um, but we didn't, and here I am, and I love it. Uh, Alba, I think, is if this world has farmers in the future, it's, I, I like to tell myself that it's because we contributed to that. And if there's food in this country being grown outdoors, it's because we contributed to that simply by teaching people how to do it. Uh, so that makes, I tell that to myself, that convinces me, I feel really good about it. Hopefully that's what we're doing and it's not just me, you know, living in that bubble. But uh, where um, the future uh, lies and what it brings to uh, students or anybody interested in getting into the ag sector is that, um, you know, we do need a lot of things. We need engineers, we need plant breeders, we need um, uh, people who can design better packaging so that we're not going through trees and uh, so much plastic. There's, you know, uh, people who can be innovative about uh, how to, I have this crazy idea uh, about um, designing something so that a picker who's bending over for 12 hours a day won't have back problems, you know, that sort of thing, where you, you can help the industry in all these little areas that are so needed. Um, we, we do need agriculture. I you know, always say, unless somebody can invent a microchip where you can live off that without food, hey, you're going to need farmers. And as population grows um, and land gets uh, encroached upon by development and whatnot, we need, especially at that point, uh, specialized uh, farming. And uh, by that, I mean very uh, intense and sustainable. So uh, it, the focus needs to be there, and we need help from those, you know, from academia to get some of the tools that we need to be innovative as we progress through all this, uh, especially on the distribution side. I, uh, that's the area that I work the most in. And uh, I don't think it's a shortage of food sometimes. It's a, just the problem is in the distribution, is getting it from point A to point B uh, quicker. Um, there's a lot of work being done around that, but there's definitely a lot of work that needs to be uh, done and completed there. So um, you know, I welcome any and all of you to, uh, who are going through uh, college right now and who are thinking of get, about going into the ag sector. I always tell our students there is money to be made one way or another. You just got to focus on it, do it right, and uh, you know, make it work for everybody. There is such a thing as a win-win. So, and thank you. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.